I can't imagine what you guys went through out there. With a growing number of streaming sites offering huge libraries of new and old content, it's easy to get overwhelmed by the wealth of options. So, let's break it down and start slow. What are the best original streaming shows? In this video, you'll find our top picks, organized according to where you can watch them among the massive number of streaming services currently on the market. From Netflix to HBO Max to Disney Plus to Peacock and more, we've rounded up the heavy hitters and hope to help you cut through the noise to find what you want to binge watch. For too long. Number 1. Glow Netflix Netflix has been in the game for a while now, launching its first original streaming series, House of Cards, in 2013. Since then, it has put out a slew of hits like Orange is the New Black, The Umbrella Academy, Stranger Things, BoJack Horseman, The Crown, and a string of Marvel shows. But of all of them, the women's wrestling comedy Glow takes the cake. The series follows a group of women in the 1980s finding strength and solidarity as the glamorous ladies of wrestling. The all-female wrestling crew lights up the local airwaves before a move to live performance in Vegas. Despite being cancelled ahead of its fourth season, Glow remains one of the very best original streaming shows on Netflix. Number 2. Station Eleven – HBO Max After a pandemic wipes out most of humanity, survivors do their best in a new and transformed world. We follow a traveling theater group and its members as they face off against a mysterious cult leader, choose how best to stage Hamlet, and make their way to a museum of civilization, where other survivors have built a shrine to the world that was. With jumps back and forth in time, we see how the sickness set in, how a new normal was achieved, in which parts of society needed to be left behind. While most post-apocalyptic fiction takes for granted that humanity would devolve into cruel and violent factions in a dystopia, Station Eleven is refreshing in its depiction of a devastating future in which people actually come together. We see survivors support each other, with art serving as a force for unity. There's conflict, and plenty of it, but the miniseries offers a hopeful portrait of humanity, not a bleak one. Number 3. Ander, Disney Plus Easily the best of the live-action Star Wars series on Disney Plus, Ander looks at the early days of the Resistance, zeroing in on Cash and Ander's political awakening before the events of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Diego Luna returns as Ander, with Rogue One writer Tony Gilroy serving as showrunner. The series offers one of the most stripped-down and compelling portraits of fascism and political action so far in any Star Wars title, with moving, human stories about the people fighting off tyranny. Luna is joined by Star Wars newcomers Adria Arjona, Stellan Skarsgård, Denise Goff, Fiona Shaw, and more, as well as returning actors Forrest Whitaker, Genevieve O'Reilly, and Alan Tudyk. Number 4. For All Mankind, Apple TV Plus One of Apple TV Plus flagship shows, For All Mankind explores an alternate American history. What if the Soviet Union had put a man on the moon before NASA? What if the moon landing became the central battleground in the Cold War, with both sides investing more heavily in space exploration? The show follows a group of astronauts and other NASA employees as they adjust over many years to a vision of American ingenuity that cleverly pushes back against the reality we know. With sharp writing and top-notch performances, For All Mankind is Apple TV Plus' best show. Frankly, it's one of the best shows on any platform. Behind a common goal, there is nothing we cannot achieve. Number 5. High Fidelity, Hulu Hulu's High Fidelity is an absolutely brilliant reimagining of the Nick Hornby novel of the same name. The book was first adapted by Stephen Frears as a film starring John Cusack in 2000. The series recasts white, straight, male, Gen X music snob Rob as a black, bisexual, millennial woman, played by Zoe Kravitz. Rob still owns a record shop in the newer series, and she struggles with the same relationship woes, working her way through past boyfriends and girlfriends to figure out why she can't find love. The show sadly wasn't picked up for a second season, but season one is easily one of the best original streaming shows on the Disney-owned platform. What do you mean? Just stop. Quit before you get to the one that broke your heart. Number 6. The Underground Railroad, Amazon Prime Video 
Amazon's stunning miniseries The Underground Railroad literalizes the historical Underground Railroad, the network of abolitionists who work to help secure freedom for individuals escaping slavery by providing shelter and access to secret routes here becomes a genuine railroad built underground, tracks and all, for the same purpose. Creator and director Barry Jenkins adapts the novel of the same name by Colson Whitehead. Using magic realism, breathtaking cinematography, and a beautiful score by Nicholas Brittell, Jenkins and his gifted cast tell a haunting, beautiful, disturbing, dreamlike story about America's shameful past. Number 7. Succession, HBO HBO Max replaced older HBO streaming services, but the premium cable channel still has its own library of original titles, so it seems fair to single a few out, even though you'll be finding them over on HBO Max. One of the top titles you'll find at HBO is Succession. The family drama premiered in 2018 and follows the Roy clan, a family of spoiled rich kids vying to take over the family media conglomerate from their father. Succession feels like it captures everything that's wrong with the world, all condensed into one overprivileged family. And somehow it's still tremendous fun to watch. I'm a good guy. I'm better than you. Number 8. Yellow Jackets, Showtime. A high school girls soccer team is stranded in the wilderness in 1996 when their plane crashes on the way to a national tournament and Showtime's breakout hit. Through jumps in time, we learn that the girls eventually descend into Lord of the Flies-esque group madness, with more than a few hints of the supernatural. Within the first episode, we get glimpses of ritual killings and cannibalism months after the crash. In the present day, we catch up with survivors. As they work to put the past behind them, reminders of the woods creep into their lives, bringing them back together. With huge spikes in viewership from episode to episode and a well-earned season renewal in 2021, Showtime's Yellow Jackets is a major win for the cable network and its streaming division. The rest of us starved and scavenged and prayed until they finally found... Number 9. The Amber Ruffin Show, Peacock. Anyone who's watched Late Night with Seth Meyers likely knows the singular talent of Amber Ruffin. A writer on the storied NBC Late Night talk show since 2014, the comic has been an on-air personality with Myers in recent years. Recurring bits like jokes Seth can't tell and Amber says would have been standouts of the show. Thankfully, the folks at NBC Universal were wise enough to recognize Ruffin's talent. In 2020, Peacock launched The Amber Ruffin Show, a huge critical hit that blends monologues and sketch comedy. It's a top streaming choice for anyone trying out Peacock. Lord, the redemption train! <laughs> it's a left riot! Number 10. Star Trek Strange New Worlds Paramount Plus Paramount Plus streaming only Star Trek Lower Decks takes place before the events of the original series and spins off from Star Trek Discovery. The show blends the aesthetics of modern Star Trek shows with the fun, episodic adventures of Treks of yesteryear. Each week, the crew of the storied USS Enterprise goes on a different mission, under the command of Captain Pike. The old-school format leaves room for sillier one-off episodes and the deeper philosophical explorations that have always defined Trek. When all those pieces come together, Strange New Worlds is quite simply the best Star Trek show currently on Paramount+. Plus. Best of Starfleet. That's our greatest track. If you like a video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long.